don't know how I'm planning on documenting this, but it is August 21st and I have just told my job that I'm moving to Gold Coast. I'm feeling mixed emotions. I love my job. I love the people who I work with. So I'm really sad that that chapter is going to come to an end. So it was a hard thing to finally like do the first step and take and tell the team, but it's happening. That is step one. I'm in my car again and I've just sporadically decided on a Saturday afternoon after being at the gym that I'm going to tell everyone online that I'm making the move, which is, I don't know why that's kind of scary. I think it's because it's just another step of, you know, it's all becoming real. Um, but yeah, I've put it on Instagram and TikTok, hoping that I might, you know, connect with some people who are going through a similar thing. But yeah, crazy. What is it? August 26. I literally just bought my one way ticket to Gold Coast this morning. Crazy! My friend Ella literally sent me um, a little screenshot of an Air New Zealand sale while I was at work. And so I just quietly beavered away and brought a ticket for such a good deal. I think it was like $2.79 there um, on special. And then I added on an extra two uh, pieces of like checked luggage so that I can pack my life away into three bags and that's all I take with me. So yeah, it came out to, oh, I think like maybe 400 and 20-ish dollars which is such a good deal compared to like I was looking at a flight um literally yesterday and it was 500 dollars before I'd even added the bag so November 5th is when I brought it which is a Sunday so I fly out Sunday morning and I arrive in Aussie Sunday morning time so what is this market September 4th this is when I brought my ticket hi guys so it's been a while since I've packed up my phone and my camera but today um it's weekend so while i haven't sold my car or anything yet and i still have a car to get around i'm gonna go to kmart and just get two suitcases so that i have my three and then i also today want to have a look at the upstairs wardrobe and sort of go through it and figure out um if there's things in there that i haven't worn for a while what i want to donate what i want to take with me and then i figure having the three suitcases like actually here and I can have a visual of like how much space I have to work with in terms of like how much I can pack will be helpful and probably a bit of a reality check. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys along with me while I go to do that. So we've come all the way here and there's literally nothing. Like this isn't even big enough. And then it's the kitty suitcases. So we're gonna have to buy them online because they have no stock anywhere. So annoying. So as you saw, that was a flop. There was no stock. So I just ordered two online to get delivered, um, which is annoying because I did want to have a look at them today. And like, like I said before, get sort of like an idea of how much space I have to pack, but it's fine. I've ordered them online. It looks like Kmart has like no stock at the moment of suitcases, which is weird because I swear every time I've been in them before and my recent suit suitcase I got was from them and they had so many and so many different colors. So typical, my luck, but it's okay. I got two, they're just plain black, big ones. They should be fine. I'll just have to wait for them to be delivered. So as you can see, I'm back home now, but I'm feeling in a productive mood for my Sunday. So I'm like, let's just get as much um, pre-cleaning and like packing and things and starting to think about what I'm taking as I can. Um, so yeah, here's my bedroom that I'll be leaving. This is where I've been in New Zealand for the past, I think we've been at this house for about a year or so. Um, Chris and I obviously live together, so we share a wardrobe here and the one upstairs. Um, so this is sort of, <laughs> looks messy on here, I swear. That's his mess, okay? This is my mess. But yeah, there's a lot. So that literally drawers of just my active wear. I've got shoes down there, some bags. I've got like gym trackies, <laughs> more shoes. And this is just the downstairs wardrobe. Like, this has just been my work and like um, colder clothes, winter sort of stuff. Upstairs is definitely where most of the work is going to need to be done because that sort of stuff that's in there is just like I'm not, I'm not touching it every day. Or even like, to be fair, maybe some of it's been summer stuff and it's only literally just getting sunny here now. So I don't know, but I have one suitcase up there, so I'll try and like eyeball. Like, obviously, what I can pack in there in times that buy another two. So, let's see how I go. Okay, so I'm at the upstairs wardrobe now, and this 
has a lot more random stuff in it, as you can see. I mean, this is my suitcase, so I can at least take that out and like get a feel for the size. But like this is all stuff that I haven't worn um, or I've moved because it was shorts and it's obviously been winter, so I'm not wearing shorts and things like that. You can come with me as I start to clear it out. So this is where I've gone to, which I feel like is pretty good. These are just bits that I need to figure out. I'm tossing up whether I sell these or if I actually will bring them. Like they're good pieces, like they're worth selling. Um, but I just don't know, do I want them? Everything else is Chris's. And I've just packed this full of bits and pieces that I'm gonna take. So it's not like properly packed, but I've just popped it in there so that it's all ready to go. Hello again, it's obviously been another few days. I'm really conscious that this vlog is quite disjointed, so sorry about that. And in advance, future ones will be a lot more of like a normal week in a life or like whatever I'm doing on a day rather than splicing up different bits and pieces. But this is kind of just like the journey of updates. So we're September 25th, it's a Monday, I've just got home from work and I've had a delivery, which I will show you. Got my suitcases. So interestingly enough, um, my first order with Kmart got rejected because <laughs> um, they're out of stock. And so I tried another order with just a different color. So I think there's like a light purple um, and they arrived. So pretty stoked with that because now I can actually see my three suitcases together and get a visual for what I've got to work with and how much space I have to pack. So yeah, I thought we could open these together and start the packing journey. Perfect, it's literally exactly the same as my other one that I've had before that's like a light creamy nude. Cute! Love it. Let's hope she's big enough to fit my whole life. Here is both of them. Um, oh reference this is the size it's pretty standard i feel i'm pretty sure these were the biggest ones i could get from kmart so let's hope they can carry enough of my stuff and fit it all in now that i have them i will probably have some time on the weekend to start like loosely packing things like i've done that with the other one that's upstairs which you saw earlier um but it's obviously not packed properly so yeah at least I've got some now. I don't have to worry about finding them. That's another thing off the to-do list. Hey vlog. I thought I would jump on here. Even though I kind of look like a mess right now. It is October 9th. It is officially less than a month until I get on the plane and move to Gold Coast. And I just listed my car and trade me. I really hope I get lucky and that someone buys her before I head off because that would just be so much less Asma admin if I can be here to do it if not Chris has kindly um said he will help me and you know hang he's obviously still here so he can help um people come and look at it and things I did take it to a dealer to see if I could do a trade and see if they would sell it but they just wanted to rip me off like thousands of dollars list it for three no two and a half K less than what it's actually worth on its market value so it's just it's been a whole process yeah that's today's update I think it's literally on my phone I've got a countdown I swear it's just like 27 days or something I think so yeah we're getting close today's the day I have put my car up for sale hi vlog we're back it's October 14th now and I've got my suitcases out so that I can have a little practice pack so I'm going to do that now and then I'll check back in with you to show you the reality of what I can actually fit. I actually just have to show you guys the state of my room, which is the state of how my brain is feeling right now while I'm trying to pack. 
<laughs> that's full. It's just under 23 kgs, which is limit. I have to repack it because I've decided I need to be more strict and things in there might be able to go. I need to sort out some of that's going home to family. Some of it is just like donate. This is like stuff like I need to keep out <clears throat> and like my big tracksuit, even though it's not going to be cold. I'm like, I wear that. I'll wear, I have to wear it on the plane because where else? Like I can't. <laughs> this isn't even all of my shoes. Like I've got gym shoes and things and like shoes that I'm going to keep out for work. And then like I've just repacked this and gone out and culled some things from this side. So I feel confident that that zip is like done. I've still left out gym wear so that I can still wear some stuff obviously before I go. I've got a couple of blazers because I might wear them for work. These are like work clothes that I need to keep out and pack later. I feel like it looks like I've done a good job of clearing my side but <laughs> honestly my room it's just like it's so bad. Oh okay the room is clear. Wardrobe is just got some few things to keep me going for the next two weeks and literally I've cleaned up there they are I've got more bags to donate like I didn't plan like I had to these are things that I've culled out of the suitcases one of these isn't even full so that's good so I've got room because I still need to pack bathroom things and I want to bring my naked hard supplements so yep we've got a bag and fingers crossed this is all gonna work because I cannot bring any more bags with me on the plane so I think I'll sign the vlog off here. If you've made it this long, honestly, thank you. This video has probably been a bit arduous to get through um, all the updates as the weeks have gone on, but I hope it's like helped anyone who's maybe thinking of doing the same thing to see sort of the process and maybe like how things track along. Um, but yeah, going forward, I'll just be doing more normal like day in the lifestyle vlogs and like whatever I get up to. And I'll vlog obviously the actual move over. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, if you could like and subscribe, that would mean a lot. And thank you for watching. <laughs>